How's everybody doing today? This is Mike with Mike's Homestead. And as a lot of you know, I do a lot of crazy projects around the homestead. I build stuff. I just, a lot of stuff out of recycled material. In fact, I'm standing in my greenhouse that I built totally out of recycled material and just stuff I had laying around. And if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. Anyways, next project is, is my shop is about two miles down the road. And I've also done a video on my recycled shop made out of a corn crib. Um... But it's sometimes a pain about running back and forth all the time. So what I want to do is I want to build a forge here. Um, I'm messing around with a few things around here, and I'm constantly running back and getting a torch, and it's just too much of a pain to butt. So I'm just going to build me a forge right here, homemade, just to have some stuff laying around the yard. You know, you guys have probably seen a bunch of videos on homemade forges. I'm probably going to do almost the same exact thing, but you know what? They work. So you guys bear with me here a little bit, and I'm going to show you what I got. Well, everybody, there's my Envision. I got myself basically a brake drum rotor, pulled it off a car in the backyard. Um, I liked it because of the ring, and then it had a plate. And then what I see here is this is the bottom of an old hot water heater tank. I originally cut that hole out to separate it. I don't remember the original reason why, but it looked good. And what I want to do is I'm probably going to cut this much off or so. Like I said, I'm going to drop that in there. And then what I want to be able to do is set this whole unit so the lip is basically level level with that Weber grill. Um, I've had that Weber grill for probably 20 plus years. Um, but it's been retired now, two, three years now. So I figured that would be a, a great stand to hold this thing up. And the next thing I did is I actually went down and purchased this part. I didn't have any piping laying around or was thinking about some exhaust too, but I didn't feel like welding it all up. So I basically got three six inch by two inch Galvy pipe. I got myself a T, a flange, a cap, and then a rubber grommet. And the rubber grommet was originally intended to put a hair dryer, uh, which I picked one of them up for about 10 bucks. Got all this total, it was about 38 bucks at Menards for everything you see there. That's not including the hair dryer. Um, I had thought about it later. I had some evacuation fans laying around from some furnaces. That probably would have worked too, but nah, I just thought of it a little while ago. So I guess we'll get this thing together and see how it goes. <laughs> so I pop together. some really weird weather in Wisconsin. This is January 30th on a Wednesday. Um, Sunday we had some snow. Um, Monday it started melting. Tuesday it hit 60 degrees and we flooded. And today is Wednesday and we've got about five inches of snow on the ground right now. So uh, what you've seen me do so far was cutting in between rain weather and whatnot. Um, my greenhouse is flooded. It, it's just a big mud pit in there. And I really don't want to spend the money to heat up the shop just to put this thing together. So basically what I'm showing you is a completed hearth. You can see down there. I got my tea. I got my cap on the end. We got a little rubber grommet, and then you can put your hair dryer in there, okay? And some people ask me why did I do it out of galvanized. Well, simply that's all I could find. That's the reason why. 
but um, I still have to put a screen down in the bottom here yet and then um, you see me cut up the rest of it it's all ready to go so once I get the screen in the weather gets a little better I just set this thing down in there Hello. I set this thing down in there and technically we can fill her up and use her but like I said the weather's pretty crappy so I'm gonna get this on there if you guys enjoyed this at all you know please comment question subscribe um, I'm gonna get this out here we're gonna do a couple forging videos anyways and show you why I'm actually building this thing so you guys take it easy I'll talk to you later